Pastor David D., who is the founder and international overseer for life in the Spirit Ministries International, was invited to preach at the University of Garoka, or UOG, in the Eastern Highlands Province, Papua New Guinea. A one-night crusade was organized by the Tertiary Students' Fellowship, or TSCF, and the Life in the Spirit Ministries Fellowship from UOG. The University of Garoka is the third largest of the six universities in Papua New Guinea and is by far the largest teacher's education institution. The university is a leading teacher training hub for the Southwest Pacific region outside Australia and New Zealand. The university offers specialized degree and diploma programs in the School of Education, School of Humanities, School of Science and Technology, Institute of Technical Vocational Education and Training, and School of Postgraduate Studies. Pastor David D. preached at the Kramer or Senko Lecture Theatre, and it was almost full to capacity. He preached on the importance of the spiritual man and the spiritual laws. Man is so spirit and body. Tonight I'd like to pick out the spiritual part of man. What gave life to the image is the spiritual man from the kingdom. When it entered the body and made that image move and talk. Therefore, the spiritual man is important. Because when the image goes back, the spirit goes back to where it comes from. The image came from the earth and the likeness came from heaven. They came from two different places. But when they live together, that's the you moving on the planet. What comes and grows from the earth will take care of the earthly man. He's an earthly man, so he must always keep in touch with the earth all the time. The moment you take the man away from the earth, you must know how to look after him because he is not meant to be taken away from the earth. This is his dwelling place. The spiritual men do not eat bread or potatoes or meat to survive. The spiritual man came from heaven. The spiritual man must always keep in touch with the place where he came, came from. As much as I hear my heavenly father speak to me, I can hear my heavenly father speak to me. That physical brain is connected to our mind, which is the soul. That mind is connected to the spirit of a man. And that spirit is connected to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is connected to heaven or God or God's throne. So with that connection, I can hear the Father speak to me from the spiritual man survives through hearing the Father speak to him and direct him every day on the planet. That's why Jesus said, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So the word of God feeds your spirit. Your spiritual man is very important. We spend more time on the physical, we spend more time feeding the spiritual man. Because when the spiritual man is mighty, it will cast down every sin in your life. And once you live life in the spirit, you come under that spiritual law. So you connect your spirit with your fellow teammates in heaven, and you live heaven on earth. Physically, they will see you as a Western Islander. They will see you as an Eastern Islander. They will see you as a New Islander. But in the spirit, you are a spiritual man. You are a kingdom man. You are a Holy Spirit filled man, that man, control man, you are Christ like you are connected to heaven. And when people label you, they label you as a pop of the But in the spirit, you are a kingdom man. Your kingdom man will be like the angels. Your kingdom man will be like Jesus. And sin has got no power over you. Why? Because the laws, you enter into a spiritual law. And when you enter into a spiritual law, laws of piety will not affect your system. Why? Because you are governed by another country, governed by another system called kingdom system. Spiritual laws will govern you. We thank the Lord for such revelation with anointing. Bible says in Hosea 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Once we understand the importance of the spiritual man and the spiritual laws, the devil will be under our feet. Galatians 5 verse 16 to 18. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, 
and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Romans 8 verses 1 to 3. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. As a result of the Word of God, many students repented and surrendered their lives to God. The TSCF President for University of Garoka acknowledged the word by saying he was very blessed by the word of God. He declared that the word that the servant of the Lord has preached will grow in them, transform them both physically and spiritually. He said the word was aligned with the team for the University of Garoka for 2023, that is, transformation. I was excited. I was very blessed with a word that had been released by the servant of the Lord. The word was released to the right generation. These are the generation that will step to extend the kingdom of God to change the nation of Papua New Guinea. The information that they be releasing is aligned with the theme of this university. In the beginning, we have the orientation process and the wise sensor that we declared the university for the theme of transformation. This is brought to you by the media team for Life in the Spirit Ministries. Be sure to watch Pastor David D on our Facebook live stream every Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Pastor D is teaching and preaching with such anointing and revelation to destroy the kingdom of darkness and set man free from the slavery of sin through the word of God. Our Facebook page is Life in the Spirit Ministries Australia. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notification of our latest uploads. If you want to be part of what the Lord is doing through Life in the Spirit Ministries, in whatever ways you can, WhatsApp us on plus 675 7041600.